OK, so let's say we've got this quadratic equation, 3kx squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. And I want to determine the values of k that would make this have either distinct real roots, so two distinct real roots, or no real roots. And this all hinges on the value of the discriminant. OK, so if you're looking for distinct real roots, then you're looking at the discriminant being positive. And if you're looking at the no real roots, then the discriminant will be negative. Now, the reason for this is that for a quadratic equation, we know that the solutions can be written using the quadratic formula as minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And the thing is, it's about this square root. Now, square roots um, behave in the sense that if the number that is underneath the square root is negative, we cannot square root a negative number without going into complex and imaginary roots, okay, which is beyond the scope of this course. So if there were to be no real roots, then the b squared minus 4ac would have to be negative, so that I would be adding and subtracting the square root of something that I cannot square root. Okay, So that breaks. If, however, the b squared minus 4ac is positive, I can square root a positive number. That's perfectly fine. So I'll have minus b plus something positive over 2a, and minus b take away something positive over 2a, giving me those two distinct real roots. If the b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the square root of 0 is 0, and then I get minus b over 2a, which is just one repeated real root. OK, so in bringing in this inequalities problem, I'll be looking at distinct real roots, two distinct real roots, or no real roots. One repeated real root won't be a quadratic inequality or an inequality at all. It'll just be an equation to solve. OK, so I'm not going to be considering that situation in these videos. So what do we want to do? Well, the first job, if you're hitting this type of question, is to write down A, B, and C to identify these clearly to both yourself and the examiner. Now, A is the coefficient of the x squared. Remember that we're writing this down as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The A is the number in front of the x squared, which in our case is 3k. The b is the number in front of the x, the coefficient of the x, which is 4. And the c is whatever is left over. And that, in, in our case, is 3. So b squared minus 4ac, let's look at greater than 0 first, will be 4 squared, take away 4 lots of a times c. So we're going to get 16. And then we've got 4 lots of 3 is 12, times 3 is 36, so 36k is greater than 0. Now if I take the 16 from both sides, I can then divide both sides by minus 36. And what that's going to do, because I'm dividing by a negative, will reverse the direction of the inequality symbol, leaving me with minus 16 divided by minus 36, so positive 16 over 36. So 16 over 36 gets me 4 ninths. So k would have to be less than 4 ninths in order for, there to ha for this quadratic equation to have two distinct real roots. If, on the other hand, I was looking at no real roots, then the b squared minus 4ac would have to have been negative. In which case, all of this is pretty much the same stuff. Okay, I still get the 16, take away 36k, but now that's less than 0. I can take the 16 from both sides just as I did before. 
Then I could divide both sides by minus 36, which will reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. Ooh. Like so, and that's just 4 ninths. So in other words, if k is less than 4 ninths, that quadratic has two distinct real roots. If it's greater than 4 ninths, then it has no real roots. If it's equal to 4 ninths, then it will have one repeated real root.